Hello and welcome. My name is Lottie and I'm going to be a waitress for this evening. Now I can see that you've definitely come at the right time because it's super quiet here at the moment, um, which is good for you because you will have my undivided attention the whole night, right? And that means that I'll be able to look after you as much as possible and really give you my time and expertise to explain anything on the menu for you um, and just make sure that your experience here tonight is absolutely perfect. Okay, now have you ever dined with us here before? Well, welcome. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here tonight. And I'd like to remind you that the selling point of our restaurant is not only the gorgeous food and drink that we serve, but also the relaxing and attentive customer service that we'd like to offer. Okay. Now, have you browsed through one of our menus yet? Fine. Um, do you have any idea what sort of cuisine you're after tonight? No? Alright, that's fine. So, would it be okay with you if I talk you through our menu and um, explain things a little bit further for you just to ensure that you get um, your order just right? Okay, great. I promise I won't be too much of a burden. It will maybe take 10 to 15 minutes. Is that all right? Okay. Well, if at any point you've decided that you've heard enough of me talking, you can just let me know and I will happily leave you um, to browse the menu on your own. All right. Now, before we think about food, why don't I fix you a nice drink? Yeah, a gin and tonic. Now, it's funny you say that because we actually have two brand new gins to offer you tonight. Would you be interested to hear what we have on offer? Okay, great. Let me just pop the menu down for one second and show you the gins. Okay, so first up we have this one here and this is by And this is actually a pink cherry gin. Okay. Pink cherry gin. So not only is this one super fruity and delicious, but it's got that really gorgeous cherry flavour to it. if you'd prefer to have lemon or orange, I'd be happy to garnish it with that instead. Okay, right, so that's the first special gin we have on offer. Next up, we've got something a little bit more citrusy, if that's um, the route that you tend to go down when it comes to gin. This one here is the orange and blossom gin. So the great thing about this is that you get 
the citrus flavour coming through from the orange, but then you can also get a little floral note coming through from the blossom in there. Okay. Now, don't be put off by the blossom. It doesn't taste um, too floral. I know that sometimes things with a floral taste to them can almost taste a little bit soapy, but I can assure you that that is not the case with this gin. If anything, the blossom notes just enhance the flavour of the gin and really complement the orange flavour nicely. Okay. And we would pair this with a Indian tonic and then garnish it with orange and cinnamon sticks or, again, if you'd rather have it with lemon or lime, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so which one would you like to have this evening? Yeah, of course. Great choice. I will just go and grab one. Here we are. This is your gin. I've of course put in a generous amount of ice to keep it cool and the garnish that you requested. And I'd also like to point out that we include metal straws just to ensure that um, we're not using plastic straws that can of course be harmful to our environment. Okay. Right, I will set that there beside you for you to enjoy and I'd also like to just pop a wine glass there as well just in case you want to have some wine later on in the evening no problem so now that you have your gin and tonic would you like to start exploring our menu with me yeah of course now before we begin do you have any dietary requirements or allergies, anything that I should know about. Okay, that's absolutely fine. And I would like to let you know that all of our dishes on the menu can be altered to cater for your needs. So if you decide that you want a particular dish without dairy, gluten, uh, without meat, you can just let me know and I'd happily pass that on to the chef who would alter the dish for you to meet your requirements. Alright, okay, so we are going to go ahead and open the menu and I will start off by reading out some appetizers or um, sort of snacks that you might want to have before we get a starter for you this evening. Okay, great. In the meantime, just sit back and Relax while I read to you the menu for this evening. Okay, right. So the first appetizer we have this evening is some Mediterranean olives with red pepper, garlic and chilli. Then we have got bite-sized warm Italian flatbreads with caramelised onion, anchovies, garlic and parsley. Next we have 24 month dry aged chestnut fed serrano ham with Italian breadsticks. Then we have endamani beans with chili salt and a miso dip. Then we have our homemade scotch egg with bacon jam and chorizo oil. And then finally we have pork belly bites with a chili chunk. So those are our little appetizers that sort of warm up the taste buds um, before we go into the starters. Obviously it's entirely up to you whether you have um, three courses with appetizers or if you'd rather skip the appetizers and just have three courses alone or if you'd rather have two courses, whatever it is. All right. Now moving on to our starters. First up we have crispy golden calamari with coriander, peanuts, chilli and lime. 
then we have mussels in a white wine and garlic sauce. Next we have scallops with chorizo, black pudding and a pea puree. Then we have tuna ceviche with an avocado mousse, pickled radish and a tomato and chilli dressing. Then we have our famous arancini balls with crispy mushroom, mozzarella and a red pepper sauce. Then we have the classic bruschetta with tomato, garlic and fresh basil. Next, a slightly lighter option would be our goat's cheese salad with beetroot and a honey mustard dressing. Then we have our cauliflower, coconut and turmeric soup with fresh homemade ciabatta bread. Next we have the tofu with wild mushrooms, cauliflower puree and a vegan pesto. Next for all of the cheese lovers we have got baked camembert with rosemary and garlic served with our fresh homemade ciabatta bread and a red onion chutney. Next we have the Mediterranean vegetable and olive tart topped with crumbled feta. And finally we have the smoked chicken walnut and paprika pate with toast and So, those are all of our starters for this evening. Now let's move on to our more extensive main course part of the menu. Okay. Okay, so first up we have the chicken breast wrapped in parma ham stuffed with roasted peppers and served with a tomato and chorizo sauce and then it will also come with potatoes of your choice. Next we have the sesame and ginger marinated swordfish served on black bean noodles. Then we have our Sri Lankan sweet and sour eggplant, cashew, nut, pineapple and chickpea curry. So something very fruity and fragrant for um, any of our vegetarian and vegan customers. Then we have the pan seared peasant breast with chestnut and pancetta potato cake served with a celeriac puree and blackberry chew. Then we have our five hour slow braised lamb shanks with tomato, rosemary and mint gravy served with creamy mashed potatoes and buttered carrots. Then we have our house burger with cheese, garlic mayonnaise, pancetta jam, smoked chipotle coleslaw and french fries. And then we have our buttermilk chicken with avocado, creamy coleslaw, chipotle mayonnaise and that one is served with french fries also. Next we have the classic British dish which is our beer battered fish and chips with pea and samphire tartar. Then we have our vegan sweet potato, cauliflower and chickpea curry served with a saffron and coconut rice and a fresh onion salad. Now if you're interested in having steak this evening we offer sirloin, rump, fillet or ribeye steaks served with potatoes of your choice and buttered grains. And then of course if you're wanting to have a sauce we offer a peppercorn sauce, a mushroom sauce, a blue cheese sauce, a 
red wine shoe, a garlic butter, or a Diane sauce, which is a Dijon mustard, uh, mushrooms, double cream, and brandy sauce. And it is so delicious. Perfect for steak. Okay, now next up we have something a little lighter. Is our pea and mint tortellini with garden veg and a cucumber consomme. Then we have sea bass served with saffron potatoes, braised baby fennel, and a raisin and dill beurre blanc. Then we have grilled octopus with chorizo potatoes, capers, and lemon. Then we have our twice-baked cheese souffle with parmesan and shaved truffle served with a fresh rocket salad. I love that one because I love cheese and honestly it's so so delicious. I definitely recommend. Next up we have a nut roast wellington with pistachios and a green salad. Then we have a super healthy option, which is the superfood salad with spiced cauliflower, butternut squash, falafel, and kale, served with a mint and soy yogurt, and topped with pomegranate seeds. Next, we have our crab linguine with chili, smoked garlic, lemon, and rocket. Then we have our blackened baked in a banana leaf with a soy and sesame marinade, served with citrus pickled fennel, grilled broccoli and a yuzu mayonnaise. Then we have our miso chicken salad with pearl barley, grapes, apples and a sesame and pomegranate tarragon yogurt sauce. Next we have our roasted salmon fillet smoked aubergine, tomato pesto, and a tomato, olive, shallot, and coriander dressing. And then, finally, we have perhaps our most elaborate and luxurious meal on the menu, and that, of course, is our grilled whole lobster with garlic and parsley butter, with watercress and thick So there are so many dishes there for you to choose from, um, and of course, like I said at the beginning, if there are any dishes that you would like to be made differently, perhaps a dish that you're particularly interested in may contain an ingredient that you don't necessarily like, then please just let me know and the chef will be happy to alter that for you. Okay. Now, moving on to our side dishes. First up we have our macaroni cheese with bacon and truffle. Then we have buttered tender stem broccoli. Next we have seasonal greens with roasted garlic butter and smoked bacon. Next we have our truffle parmesan fries. And then our rosemary salted fries. And finally we have our twice cooked thick cut chips. We also offer our potatoes in the form of creamy mashed potatoes or minted new potatoes as well. Then we have jasmine rice with toasted sesame. Then we have creamed spinach with toasted pine nuts and then have honey glazed carrots, slow roasted pepper salad with courgette, basil and capers, and finally we have a tomato salad with basil, mozzarella and oregano. Okay, so those are all of our side dishes. Now let's move on to the most exciting part, which of course is dessert. First up, we have creme brulee 
with fresh raspberries and a hazelnut biscotti. Then we have a dark chocolate and almond tart served with vanilla ice cream. Then we have our very popular warm chocolate fondant topped with honeycomb and a salted caramel sauce. Then we have a passion fruit and lime tart served with orange sorbet or creme fraiche. Next we have the British favourite of sticky toffee pudding served with honeycomb ice cream and a hot toffee sauce. Then if you're after something a little bit lighter we have our customizable fruit salad um, which you can either have pineapple, mango, passion fruit, papaya, kiwi, watermelon, honeydew melon, strawberries, blueberries or raspberries. And of course you can choose as many of those as you like and we'd be happy to make that for you. Okay, then we have our vanilla panna cotta with poached rhubarb and a homemade vanilla shortbread. Then we have our very very popular Biscoff cheesecake. Another cheesecake that we have is the white chocolate and stem ginger cheesecake served with ginger marshmallows and a white chocolate ice cream. Then we have our mango and mint semifredo. Next our rhubarb, apple and berry crumble with warm custard or vanilla ice cream. Then if you're wanting something a little more alcoholic, we have our mulled wine poached pear with vanilla ice cream. Then we have our apricot toffee and white chocolate bread and butter pudding. Next we have a flourless coconut cake served with pear sorbet. Now this one here is my personal favourite. And that is our chocolate ganache with caramelised banana, honeycomb and banana ice cream. Then we have a lemon meringue pie with lemon sherbet ice cream or creme fraiche. Then we have our rhubarb, rose and pistachio eaten mess. Then we have our warm triple chocolate brownie served with hot chocolate sauce and vanilla ice cream. Next we have our cappuccino cake with affogato which if you don't know is a scoop of vanilla ice cream served alongside an espresso shot so the idea is that you pour the hot coffee onto the ice cream and it makes this delicious creamy um, coffee flavoured ice cream. And then we have our vegan avocado and chocolate mousse with a hazelnut sorbet. Then we have our cheese selection served with port, chutney and crackers. And then finally we have our trio of desserts which although is a little more expensive means that you get to pick three of our desserts from the menu and have a taste of each on one plate, which is something that I always love to do because it means you get um, more than one pudding to try, which is always amazing. And then finally we do offer a selection of ice creams and sorbets for you to have um, if that's what you would prefer instead of a dessert. So our ice cream flavours are vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, hazelnut, pistachio, coconut, stracciatella, lemon sherbet, honeycomb, coffee, oreo, ginger, banana, white chocolate and finally salted caramel. And then our sorbet selection consists of lemon, orange, raspberry, mango, pear, 
hazelnut, lime, and black currant. Okay, so those are all of the desserts, um, which means that we've come to the end of the menu now. I hope that was informative enough. <laughs> Um, now, do you have any questions, perhaps, about any of the dishes or any of the ingredients? Anything at all that I can help you with? Okay, that's fine. So, would you be ready to take your order then? Yeah, okay, I'll just take note of that on my pen pad. So, what can I get for you for your appetizer? Yeah. Okay, no problem. And for your starter. Yeah. Lovely. And what about your main course? Mm hmm. No problem. And would you like any sides or sauces with that? No problem. Right, you sit there and enjoy and I will 